G'day, I'm Adam Gordon, the Profits League Detective, and a very warm welcome to this cash optimization report, a five minute interview where we give you some immediate practical tips on how to improve the cash flow and profitability in your business. In today's world of constant distractions, most business owners struggle to get their marketing message heard. Part of the problem is that there's so much competition out there, all blasting away through offline and online media. It doesn't matter whether you're the owner of a, a retail shop, uh, a financial advisor, swimming pool manufacturer, or inventor with an in, ingenious product. Why should they listen to you? We struggle to engage our audience. And a key word is content, the information we put out about our product or service. Why should that audience out there listen to you? Why should they believe you? So today, I'm joined by David Jennings from Authority Content. David, very warm well welcome. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me on. For those of you who don't know David, his entrepreneurial journey begins back in his early 20s when he, now listen to this, he sold Australia's most loved sporting ground, the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Seriously, he was doing the Brooklyn Bridge exercise, Have I Got a Bridge for You? <laughs> and was well publicised in so doing. Since then, he's, he's on, his experience spans from developing and branching re retail stores to founding one of Australia's most trusted digital agencies, Melbourne SEO and Video. He's an Amazon bestseller, a lover of processes and procedures, and the founder of System Hub. Recognised as a high achieving entrepreneur, you'll find many of David's keynote presentations on YouTube, including TEDx, WordCamp, and ProBlogger. He's developed what he calls the simple system for building your brand, sales, and credibility, which he explains in his book, Authority Content. It, this details a, a simple process that any company can use to break through the noise, that noise out there in the media. It's built on the three P's framework, present, product, promote. This book teaches you a step-by-step -step system, system for building authority within your industry, which will lead to skyrocketing website traffic and sales. Now, David's going to answer four questions on authority content. He might even drop a story about selling the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Are you ready? Yes, let's get into it. Maybe okay. we start with the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Yeah. Start with the Melbourne Cricket Ground, please. I was intrigued. Yeah, so this was my first big entrepreneurial breakthrough. I just read uh, the story about a gentleman in the US who sold the Brooklyn Bridge, Paul Hartunian, and he got a whole lot of discarded wood when they were doing the renovations on the Brooklyn Bridge and then basically um, wrote a press release out to the media saying that a New Jersey man sells the Brooklyn Bridge for... I think it was like 1995. So I just read this story and I was driving past the Melbourne Cricket Ground and for the international audience um, who don't know, Australians were obsessed with sport and the MCG is almost like a religious icon here. Like we were obsessed with sport and I was driving past, they were doing some renovations and then it was just like fireworks went off, off in my brain. I thought, wow, I can replicate what Paul Hartunian had done here in Australia with the Melbourne Cricket Ground. And, and it was just, yeah, it was phenomenal for me. It was a big leg up for the moment then. I got my hands on some uh, discarded wood and carpet, and wrote up a similar press release that a Melbourne man sells the MCG for twenty four ninety five, And the media loved it. They gobbled it up. I was on TV, radio, newspapers, magazines. And that was, yeah, my, my start to this entrepreneurial journey. And a very good one. Very, very ingenious, i got to say. Get the headlines. <laughs> okay. Why do business owners struggle to get their marketing messages heard? The biggest reason that they have trouble is that they're not really aligning the message to really attract the right target audience. So that first thing is getting very clear on who it is that you're trying to attract into your business and then consider the content that you're putting out there almost like to use the metaphor of catching fish, it's the bait to catch the fish. So you have to use the right bait to catch the right fish. Um, a good example of that is um, I work, uh, worked with just recently a domestic cleaning company here in Australia and they had created some content before we started working with them, but it was content like how do I iron the perfect shirt or how do I clean the grout uh, in my shower? And the person on YouTube searching that type of content was not the person looking for a domestic cleaning service. If you're looking for how do I iron the perfect shirt, you're thinking, how do I do it myself? So when we started working with them, we created content that really focused in on 
Uh, how do I prepare my house before a cleaner comes? Should I feel guilty about getting a cleaner? Uh, can I leave my pets when um, a cleaner comes? The, the type of questions that someone would ask prior to making a purchasing decision. So that's the biggest reason people struggle is because they're creating the wrong type of content or the wrong messages um, and, and therefore they're not being heard by the right person. So as you say, put the right bait in front of the right fish. You know Exactly right. Okay. So second question, David, why is content so important? It's important because it becomes, it's the first point of contact with a new prospect uh, when they become engaged in your business. So it needs to be very high quality. It needs to pre-sell what it is that you're doing. Effectively, content becomes the fuel in your marketing machine. Because if you do a really good job at your marketing and putting out great quality content, what it does is it actually reduces the need for like a heavy sale because someone who's already pre-sold before you ever chat with them. Um, and I've had some really good experiences just recently. We worked with a swimming pool manufacturer and we did some authority content for them. And the salesperson noted when he went out to go see some prospects, they even commented when they met him at the door that they, they said things that made him feel like they already knew him. When he asked them, they said, yeah, we've met before. And it wasn't until later in the conversation that it came out. They said, oh, we know how we know you. We've watched about two hours of your videos before you ever stepped foot in the door. So that really changes the dynamic and that's why content is so important. No like and trust. Yep, exactly right. No like and trust is just so important. Yeah. Okay. So, third question, exactly what is authority content? Now, I am going to refer to the definition from the book. Um, so, uh, I'll read it as it is here and we'll just break it down a little bit because it is a bit of a mouthful, but it's authority content is the act of consistently creating and distributing helpful information and stories to gain the attention, engagement and trust of a clearly defined audience with the objective of identifying those who would benefit from your products and services. So if you break that up, it's about putting out consistently helpful information with the whole purpose of first capturing someone's attention, having good enough content that they engage in that content, and they're doing it over a period of time, then someone will start to trust you. Now, just by the very nature of putting out great content, the person who listens to it because the bait attracts the right fish, um, what it's doing is that individual, it's not like they self-select themselves as someone who is interested in your products and services. So that's, that's, yeah. that's And, and that's, that's the, what I would consider authority content is. And I mean, there's other parts to it. I, I other ways to achieve that objective. So for me, well, how do we create that content? It opens up other questions. And probably the biggest thing I want to mention there around creating authority content, the best way I believe that you can create this content is just like we're doing right now is video content because video content can be repurposed in so many ways. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And it's part of the nine. If you can put a face to, to someone, you read something and you can put a face to it, um, make such a big difference. Yeah. Well, I bet people, they watch your uh, podcast and your vodcast and uh, you would get the experience where you're out and about and people already feel like they know you or might comment on something that you've said. But you might have never actually met them before and it's because they've listened to and consumed some of your content. Yeah, and, I, and I've certainly had that happen to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, last question. Where do, where do most people business people go wrong in actually creating that content? Um, if they take that first step and start creating the content, they usually go wrong in creating the, the wrong type of, or they're creating the wrong type of content. Like I mentioned with the example earlier with Absolute Domestics. Uh, but even before that, if we go back right to the start, most business owners, they don't start because they're so busy in the day-to-day -day operations, they can't create enough space they know creating this content is important, but it's not urgent, so it gets prioritised down and they never actually get around to it or they might create one or two bits of content per month. But that's not going to get you any traction. 
They come up with all of these excuses as well why video won't work for them. You know, it's, oh, but, you know, I'm not confident in front of a camera or who would want to listen to me or I don't have the technical skills. Like, if you look for excuses, you'll find them. And on the flip side, if you look for reasons to do something, I know you'll find those too. The fact is we're in a very fortunate opportunity right now. The cost of creating high-quality Great video content has dropped significantly. It's never been a better time to be capturing this type of information, using video as a way to can and clone and duplicate yourself and share that message out there. So start looking for the reasons to do it. And I know if you're creating helpful content, you'll become a helpful business and prospects love working with helpful businesses. So you're really setting yourself up. Um, for success. That's great, David. That really is. Now, where can people go to get more information or resources? Well, best place to go, um, two places, either head to um, um, authoritycontent.com and uh, you can find out more about the book there. I don't know if that appears backwards or not for everybody. but yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like or, or, or Authoritycontent.com um, or you can just head to Amazon and type in authority content and grab a copy of the book. That really, for me, this distills that message that we were talking about today. Probably 10 to 15 years of my work has been distilled down into that book and it's um, some of my best, most relevant work. Um, it doesn't hold anything back and someone can take it and use it as a blueprint and a guide to create the type of content that I'm talking about. So that's, that's the best way to go. And people can also find you, presumably, on Facebook? Yep. I'm very accessible through authoritycontent.com. You'll find all the links to grab me on Facebook or Twitter. You can check out some of my videos on my YouTube account. Um, there's lots of free content. I'm a big believer of um, delivering as much value as I can. And, um, yeah, hopefully we get a chance to, to meet in person at some time. <laughs> okay, David, that's very good. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you. All the best. <laughs>